Good morning. Oh, I got to I got to wait for a minute and take a picture of myself cuz I have to do a before and after and I forgot. Done. Boom. <laughs> okay. So, oh shit. I just spilled my drink all over me. Okay. Good morning. How are you? This is Donna with Pharmacy. Pharmacy that before I knew the name of the company, I thought I would be fancy and call it Pharmacy. But that's not what it is, okay? Okay. It's more than a cosmetic company. They've got everything. Okay. So today, we're going to do a real glam look. I will go back to my CC cream. Because yesterday I used the VFX Pro. So I have been soaking my blending bud this morning so that I have a nice, good color. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Jean. All right. So, Jessica, there is a pharmacy meeting on Long Island in Hop Hog. i got to find out the date for you. But anyway, blending bud. Yes, it's dirty. Who cares? It's from yesterday. But um, I already have my primer on. I wore this primer today, the BFX Pro. It's the silver. There's only two. There's a purple tube and a silver tube. The purple tube is more of a cream, not a translucent gel. So I like to just pat and put it on. CC stands for color correction, okay? So, color correcting, as you can see, the coverage is amazing. I like to pat because that gives me the most coverage, nice, um, full, non-streaky, I'm using the color medium, Amazing. I thought a CC and BB cream was more like a tinted moisturizer, but it's really not. This is a full blown foundation. A lot of people do their foundation after their eyeshadow, which makes perfect sense because, you know, if you get any fallout or mistakes, but I like to do it both because I really can't take my face seriously looking, hey Teresa, looking terrible with uneven skin tone. So this evens it out, so I have all the same color. I'm using the color medium, so I will go on top of it with a light to medium around the eye area, on the forehead. Hello, Melissa, how are you? If you see this live red button up here, that means I'm live. I'm here. I'm able to interact with you. We can talk. If you don't see the live button, that means that it, it, you're watching the recording and just put hashtag replay. So I've got enough foundation on now that I can proceed with the rest of my face, not worrying about what happens where it goes. So now what we're going to do is prime my eyes. I've tried to get in a habit that when I prime my face, I prime my eyes or during the face process something. But this is a step I do not want to forget. It's a little pot. What this does is, again, gives you that even tone of your eyes. It gives you a non-sticky, non-tacky base to have your eyeshadow adhere to and it also gives it longevity. I'm not real sure with this crazy color shirt what color lipstick stick that I'm going to wear yet, but I did have a request from one of my watchers that asked me not to overline my lips like I normally do. So today, I'm just going to do my normal lips and not overline. So let's get started with eyebrows because right now I look totally naked without my eyebrows on. I'm going to use the pencil and this is a number three. 
which is probably a dark brown. So I just go underneath the eyebrow and get the shape that I want. And I just did underneath the eyebrow. Now I'm gonna to go to the other one. And what I'm doing is making them a less severe angle today than I normally do. You are in control. You can do whatever you wanna do, however you wanna do it. There's, There are rules and right and wrong ways, but if it's done well, you can do what you want. So now I'm going to like just take a, a brief pause and I'm going to sharpen my pencil because that gives me, ooh, my, my, my camera's a little crooked. Like I should have had a V8 and my forehead looks like a eight head. It's so big. All right. So I'm just sharpening the pencil. It's your normal pencil. It's very smooth, but a nice sharp tip gives you the ability I'm gonna make that second line so I'm gonna come inward from this line a little bit and I'm gonna draw a parallel line up to the peak when I get to the peak I'm gonna drop it like it's hot okay so parallel line and this is just one of many ways to do eyebrows parallel line up to the peak and then drop it to that bottom line just angle it down you would never want these to go totally down because it's not going to look good you don't want them to go the fronts to go totally up because you'll look like you're surprised you'll be surprised at how you can reshape your brows and get different looks so now I just want to do some little like hair flicks like this to fill in. I'm not done. What I always say is trust the process. Okay, trust the process. If you would please follow, like, and share, that would be amazing to help me build my pharmacy business, a business that I am passionate about, that I am absolutely so in love with this company. Not so much because of the products. Yes, I love the products, but because of what they stand for, they're a family-owned business, three generations, you know, that is what makes it amazing. So I'm just brushing that color in just kind of getting it faded in the beginning towards the middle. Fade it. To fade, you can go in the opposite direction with that brush. If you don't have a brush, use a toothbrush. Just a very light, soft toothbrush. You can always use different items. You don't have to have all of the things, okay? So now that I got these kind of, sort of, the way I want, are they finished? Absolutely not, okay? I need some concealer. Where do we have concealer going on here? I don't see any, and I'm not going to look for it, so I'm going to improvise. I'm going to do what I'm telling you to do, which is improvise. I'm going to use the light to medium. And let's find a nice, clean, flat brush. We want a flat brush so that I can control where it goes. I have like a million brushes. I don't care what brand it is. I don't care where it came from. Just use yourself a nice, flat brush. I'm going to take the light to medium, and I'm going to squeeze it onto the top. Just going to dip my brush in it, make sure the brush is covered. And I'm just going to trim these out and make sure that the shape is the way I want. You know, I watched a video and they said you're not supposed to do this anymore. It's not cool. It's cool to me. I like it. So if I like it, I can do it. Don't worry about following 
trends and looking good, yes, by all means, try it. If you don't like it, don't do it. Be you, boo-boo. Makeup is all about you being the best you that you can possibly be. It's not about you being someone else. It's not about you looking like the person in the magazine as closely as you possibly can. No, it's about you using the techniques that are out there that are offered to you to do the best and be the best you you can be. That's my advice. All right, so now let's do the other one. See what I did? See how um, I really don't like the shape. Like I feel like it's a little too low right here. So I'm just kind of outlining it with the foundation. You can use concealer, you can use whatever you want to use. So I'm just thinning out up here a little bit and then I want the arch to be higher. So how do I do that? I just kind of erase and go right on top of some of that brown. And then this, this one, I feel like it comes down too much. So how am I going to fix that? I am going to just go right on top of it and get more of an outward angle. Okay? Now for the top. So, same thing. I'm just going to take that brush. I didn't even dip it again. And I'm looking in a mirror beyond you. So, I'm just going to make sure that I get the shape that I want. And I'm creating a highlight at the same time. I like the way the fronts are faded. These, I'll see, I might shorten those just a little bit by just going straight down. And then I have extra on my brush, so I'll just brush it on my nose, and then I'm just gonna take this and kind of blend it in. You can also take the blending bud that you used on the rest of your face and just tap, just tap it in, tap it in. And there you have your eyebrows. They look good, they look natural, they look nice and clean. They look nice and faded. Exactly how I want them. I, I know that I want to wear orange lip color. So I'm not going to overline. Good morning. I'm not going to overline my lips because one of my friends asked me not to. So I'm just going to go on the exact outer line. Of my lips. Why do I do my lipstick first? You might be wondering is because it sets the color palette for my entire face. So I'm going exactly on my lips. I'm not going to overline them today. And this is a light color, so I hope you can see it. So do I feel like maybe I did too much in the middle? So I'm just going to take that brush that has the CC cream on it in the light color. And I'm gonna dip my brush in there. This way I'm only using foundation. To make sure that it's where I want it to be. And I didn't go outside the lines because <laughs> I'm used to just lining my lips way big. That's the way I like them. But somebody asked me if I would do a live and not do that. So I'm honoring that because I like to do different things. Whether they look good, bad, or indifferent, I like to try different things. So now we're going to move to the eyes. We're going to make it as funky as we can today. I want to use bright colors. So I'm going to open all three of our palettes. 
so that I can have a nice variety of the brightest colors available. I am going to start with my fluffy brush and I'm going to show you another trick, a plastic spoon. This is not expensive. You can have it. Keep it in your uh, arsenal of your makeup. Go ahead and just clean it. Keep it cleaned. Let's see if I can tilt this down just a little bit. So you can use this in two ways. I'm going to dip in the orange color. You can put it on your eye to get that perfect arch without getting it anywhere else. Look at that. If you just want that little bit in there, boom, done. Okay? So we're going to do the same thing to the other side. You want to wipe it off in between because the spoon is going to change forms from one side to the other. It's going to change shape. So get it positioned and just run your brush above it. So I'm kind of like half on the spoon, half off the spoon. So I'm going to take my brush. I didn't put any more product on it. And I'm just going to raise my eyebrows and I'm going to work this in. I'm just going to work, 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 work it in. Hey, Renee, good morning. And I'm going to work this in. Just use that dry brush, little circles. Make sure that you hold it loosely and let the brush do the work. Sometimes the fluffier the brush, the better. But I am definitely trying to use only pharmacy products. So I'm actually able to pull this down because I want it down a little further. Good morning, beautiful friend. How is the weather up in... Uh, Freezerville where you are. Actually, we have sunshine today and it's shining beautifully. Okay, so I've got that all blended to an extent. What other colors do we have? We have a teal, we have a green. So let's go cray cray. Let's take the green. I'm loading up the exact same brush. I'm going to use my spoon again. I have a dry coarse towel in my lap and I wipe the spoon on it to make sure it's clean. Take that spoon and let's do underneath our eyes. Let's see. I'm going to put the spoon here so that I can draw underneath my eye, but I can have that line going upward. Now I'm going to place it under here so I can get the color underneath and not worry about it getting anywhere else. I'm going to add more to the brush. And I'm going to put the spoon down a little bit further. To get that on there. That gives me my guidelines. It keeps everything nice and clean. So let's do the other side to match. Wipe off the spoon. Let's get the corner done. The brush is actually running on the spoon and keeping it really nice. Um, and then I'm going to use that as a guide underneath as well. And we want to do some crazy colors. So I really like that color. Let's take that color and let's go inside. Let's take it and let's stamp, stamp, stamp right in here. Stamp that color. Are there any colors that everyone doesn't use but would like to? Gigi, there is a pharmacy meeting in Hop Hog on Long Island that the CEO of the company is coming and doing. That's the meeting that I went to in Charlotte and he took us out to dinner. I may try to go. So I got to figure out when it is. I can't remember. And if I go, I need to know who is interested in more information about pharmacy that would like to go to that meeting with me. 
Who wants to go with me? Let me see you. Raise your hand. Okay. 22 degrees, Renee? Blah. Not cool. Not cool. All right. Let's get some more colors. Let's go crazy with the colors to match the crazy shirt. So how about... I wish I had a really bright yellow. That would be nice. Or a gold. I do. I have a melon right here. Melon. Let's do a melon right next to the green. Right on the whole entire lid. Yes, I like dressing like a clown. Gonna get a lot warmer. Maybe 36. Keep it, boo-boo. That's why I left New York. The weather and the taxes. Not necessarily in that order. There. I got me some nice gold in there that matches the shirt. And I think I'm going to do a nice little halo underneath of the same color. Now, let's connect these two colors with some blue. We'll use this blue right here. Does it necessarily match the shirt? Who cares? I don't care. So I want to connect those colors right in there with the blue. I've got my colors in place. Now what I want to do, actually I want to bring some up here. That's okay, Renee. I'll see you later, boo-boo. So I need all my New York people to tell me who's going to meet me at a meeting on Long Island. Okay? I believe it's in Hopog. So I'm going to go back with another fluffy brush. Make sure that it's clean. And I want to really rub these colors together. Blend them. You don't want to over blend because then you have a muddy mess, but this is not a muddy mess. This looks good so far. Wouldn't you wear this to Walmart? I know I would. But then again, I think I'm a little different. So I'm going to go back in the orange. I want some more orange in there. Let's put some orange right there. I'm using this from the Iconic palette. Most of the colors are coming from here. So this is that orange. And I want some right in there to give me some depth. No, you don't have to be an artist. You can follow pictures. It doesn't matter. Let's do a little bit at the ends. And let's do a little bit underneath here. We're just going to go all avant-garde today. <gasps> Yes, I love crazy fun colors. And you can always make colors. All right, so I got the orange where I want it because I really want that to stand out. Sometimes when you want a color to stand out, dip it in and just tap it on. Now, I'm going to clean that brush a little bit and go, ah, don't drop it. Go back in my gold. When you have a big important meeting to do, what is your first question in your brain? Mine is always, oh, what am I going to wear? What earrings are going to match that? I know. And, and if you ask me about a big event in my life, I can tell you what I was wearing. <clears throat> I think I got a hair. I'm going to go up here with that melon as well. And in here. All right, we got some crazy colors. We got some crazy colors going on the eyes. Do they look like shit right now? Yes, they do. But trust the process. I promise you need to give it a chance. We're going to be more cray cray and we're going to go with green eyeliner. There's some aqua in the shirt, so we'll just pretend it matches, okay? So I'm going to go underneath and in my lash line. This is a really creamy, wind-up 
I'm going to go under and on my lid. I'm going to kind of do both. It's waterproof. It is called Extra Lash. Hey, Kay. So that is in the color green. I've extended it out beyond the eye. Okay. Now I'm going to start at the side of the brown part of my eye. And I want to start really, actually, let's start from the other end. So I'm going to start from this point and I want to end up here. Okay. So I want to go from here. And now I'm going to fill it in. I don't want to go all the way to the corner of my eye because I want my eye to look bigger. And actually I might even bring this higher. I always have to look at my schedule when I do a look like this and say, who's coming to see me today? Can they handle this face? <laughs> and judge my clients and say, but I think they all know me and love me for what I am. And I stand behind the chair. I'm just going to get this little dot off that I put for you to see where I was putting it. I may have to do that with a little foundation. Okay. Okay. So that is the green eyeshadow. I mean, I'm sorry, eyeliner. It is the extra lash. Extra last. Try to do two things at once. It gets a little cray cray. And if you're not sure about that angle, you can get your spoon back out. And you can use your spoon to ensure that you're doing the right angle. But I like just coming from the bottom. Like I said, today I'm going to go inside the waterline, outside the waterline, and underneath. And I am going to do a wing. And... This eye, I can actually start at this point because it's my right eye. The other one's a little more difficult because it's my left. I don't want to start at the corner. I want to start about where the brown color starts, the eye color. And I want to angle it up to that point. That's the meeting point. And then I just want to color it in. Color, color, color. Pretty color too. It matches perfect. I like it. And I told you I'm really never obsessed whether two eyes are exactly the same. Because once you get everything on, you're not going to notice. You're just not. So today, because um, we're using the peachy tones, we're going to go with the peach. We're going to finish the eyes. Don't worry. But I want to work on the face a little bit. So we're going to go with the peachy tones. Let's use this as our blush. And let's see what that looks like. You want to start above your ear, like from your eye to your ear, you want to start in that section. And you want to bring your color towards your mouth, but really not further than your pupil. I have to get the autofocus off. I'm going to work on that today. I don't know how to do it. My friend told me last time. But, all right, now I'm going to go in the darker color. 
it's very dark so you have to be careful I'm gonna tap it a little bit on my towel go underneath just a little bit thank you so much and I want to do I always like to do the sides of my nose so I'm gonna come from I'm gonna show you how I do one side I squeeze my brush to get it narrower and I kind of want to come from my eyebrow and I want to go down the side of my nose so that this looks seamless going upward hey Terry um and then I'll do the other side all those animals every day get me so excited Terry when you bring them in and you know what I have five dogs I can't look at more animals I cannot I have a problem yes no more for me my oldest is 15 years old, and we've been saying he's on his last leg for about two years. <laughs> so I do underneath. I like to sometimes get a smaller brush involved. Wipe it off. Oh, I have a client coming. <sighs> totally. Just get involved in what I'm doing. So I just really like to make that definition and then you could come in at the end of your nose and that can really change the shape make it narrower a little bit underneath that bottom lip makes it look pouty and then this center color that's used for highlighting. I like to use this color underneath the brow, underneath the arch of the brow, okay? So let me make that clear, the arch of the brow. And then let's put just a dot, just press it in on each corner of your eye, like where your tear duct is. Hey, Lori, right there, right there. That's the only place that we want the highlight. I am going to tell you that I'm going to go back in my eyebrow powder, if I can find it. And, ta -da. I want to get, nah, you know what, I can't find it, so I'm going to use my palette, and I'm just going to go in brown, come on, where's the brush, I just had it, there we go. I'm just gonna go in some shadow and it's got a little hint of orange to it so I'm just gonna do this and put just a little bit of color in my brows I want to go let's go in these colors let's do the brows too let's go in our bright orange that we like so much you're like what is this wee stuff I just pretend you like what I like, okay? And then I will go in a hint of the black. And I'm just going to very, 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 ever so lightly run some of this black in there just to get a darker tone. Make sure there's hardly anything on that brush. This is a pharmacy brush. It is wonderful. It's the perfect shape turn that brush upside down and you have that perfect square front. I just lay it on its side and barely dust it. And we've totally changed those eyebrows that we worked so hard on earlier. <laughs> so let's put a little bit of green in there so they're not so dark. Just a little hint of green. And we'll brush it on in. The green has a little bit of shimmer to it. So let's just brush that in. So I need people to tell me if you're on Long Island and you feel that you would benefit from coming to a meeting with me and hearing all about pharmacy, you let me know and I will go and take you. So what I think I'm going to do today is we're going to go even more so over the top. We are going to, I'm going to look and see if there's an orange 
color that I like. I think I do like this. And Ashley told me not to go outside the lines today. So I'm not overdrawing my lips. So we're going to have a really tiny top lip today. Now what I'm going to do while my lipstick is wet is I'm going to go in that orange color and I'm going to put some right in the center so it clings and then I'm going to go in the highlighter and I'm going to put some of that. on the lips as well, and they're dry already. So that gives me a little bit of glitter, a little bit of change. And I do want a little bit more color on my cheeks. So I'm gonna squeeze this brush. Yes, yes, Mark, you can put a rubber band around it, but I'm gonna squeeze that and I'm going in the orange eyeshadow. Really wanna Go light, light, light. I'm going to release it now. And go light, light, light. Just so I can get some of that orange on my cheeks. Just to get that tone on the whole face. Okay. Now, what do I do when I'm almost done? I take that blending bud that I threw back in a bowl of water and I'm wringing it out. But as you can see, it's like three times the size that it was. So I'm going to wring it out really, really well. Now I'm going in the light to medium CC cream, putting a little dot on my blending bud. And I'm going to go underneath the eyes and I'm just going to tap this out. Always, always in an upward motion because who doesn't need a facelift? I certainly do. So why would I do anything at an angle? Like right now, I can look at myself and see that this orange needs to go just a little bit higher right here. Um. So anyway, let's get back to the face. So I want to take that and I want to tap it. And I want to tap it from the outside in, like that. All right. That's what I use my highlight. I prefer to use my foundation because I do like the feel of it. I like the blendability of it. I like that it's the same product that I previously used. And you just tap, tap, tap with your damp sponge. No, you don't want it wet. You want it damp. And what do we want? We want everything in the upward motion. Okay. Now we are ready for mascara. So when I'm doing a fancy look, what do I want to use? I want to use the Double Lash Extend. That is going to be, make my lashes the best they can be. Yes, I should put false lashes on with this look, but I don't have time. Uh, I just did a boo-boo up there. Do you panic? No. Just take your finger, try to get it off, or just blend it in there. I just blend in and all right, so I'll be more careful. Get your mascara on. I like to do at least two coats. I don't really care about my bottom lashes, but I want those top ones to be the best they can be. At the end of the day, when I go in the house, sometimes my husband looks at me and like, what the hell, we 
<laughs> but he knows. He knows. Hey, Leah. Hey, Wendy. Wendy, are you still coming today? Hey, Jeannie. No, I didn't forget about your lip conditioner. I have it on the shelf. I'm just... Can't find the time. But I can have my husband run it over today. If you'd like that. If that works for you. You let me know. Wendy, you were going to come shop today. I have you on my schedule to come shop. And I will be available with no clients at that time. So you can have my undivided attention. So this is the second coat on this side. Always make sure that you have your inner lashes and your outer lashes done. Okay, so between one and two, perfect, perfect. Then I'm going to open the other part above the pink, and that is going to elongate them, separate them beautifully, no clumps. Get all those bad boys, okay? We're going to do a second coat on the other side, and then we'll use that second one. I don't have great eyelashes, but with the assistance of this mascara, I do. So I put this back, and then I go to the one above the pink. Okay. No problem, Jeannie. You just let me know when you're ready, honey. I'm here. I may go to Florida this month. I have um, people that are building incredible teams down there. And I am the number one supporter of my people. So I told them they build teams. I will come and do person personal trainings. Just got to show me you want it. Show me your building. Getting pe other people interested in this uh, amazing company that is going to be life-changing. It has already changed my life. I was going to sell my motorhome because I'm a nervous Nelly about money. And with the owning a beauty salon, you have to worry with COVID if they're going to shut me down again. My hair is a little cray-cray today. Um... So I'm always nervous about money, and I, I like to make money. So once I started with pharmacy, I was shown um, my first three paychecks. The first paycheck was just two digits, and the second one was three digits, and then the third one had a comma. And having a comma paycheck, I love that reference. It just blew up my heart because it shows me that the company values me and that what we're doing counts. And what we have to offer, I can tell you 150% that I believe in this company. This is my Time Locker spray. This is what I spray on to finish my look. This melds everything together. I've been... <laughs> Don't open your mouth when you're spraying it. I've been using this since um, the end of November and maybe December 1st, and there's a ton in it. And not only I use it, but my son's girlfriend every morning, she puts her makeup on at my desk, and she uses it. My granddaughter plays. She uses it. So everybody uses it, and there's plenty to go. A little bit of spot there. I'm just going to wipe it and try to get it off. I love it. I use a lot of it, as you can see, but it goes a really long way. Most of everything that I use, I keep in stock. Everything that I buy for myself to try for you, I, I buy two. 
one for me and one for you and keep it in stock. But stock doesn't matter. You don't have to live near me. You can order on my website. I will put that information down below. I'll type it right now. And you can order directly from there. It goes straight to your house. You don't have to worry about coming to the beauty barn to get it. The good thing about it for the customer is that you only pay $4.99 shipping, okay? And then if your order hits $75, it's free shipping. Hello, why wouldn't you do that? So super duper easy. I'm obsessed with this look. My client is here. Perfect timing. I am really loving everything about this. I'm not conceited. I'm not saying I look pretty. I'm saying I love the look. I love the makeup. I'll put a little bit of that shimmer on my nose. And voila, I will post all the products that I use down below. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.